See, it's very similar to the Krita Girl. So this is how it's placed in the box. And it's like, hey, I've arrived, baby. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. And it still nicely frames my face. And I just think it's so cute. <laughs> Any old wig is now used as my gym hair. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Yes, I know, it's been a while. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about today's video actually. So you guys will see from the title that I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite synthetic wigs that are so amazing. I wanna share with you guys my favorite wigs. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and you find inspiration. And if you do like the wigs, go ahead and purchase them. So to start off guys, I'm with my bold peanut head. <laughs> I try to make my head look as normal sized compared to my shoulders, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm here with my peanut head. Um, I've got my uh, shower towel thing on. I do have cornrows underneath these, but I'm not gonna show you what they look like because they are a hot mess. They've been in for, I kid you not, maybe a month and a bit, and I just can't be bothered to redo them. So we're gonna move past it real quick. So we're just gonna start off with the wigs. So the first one that I wanna share with you guys that I'm in love with, with like when I say love with like every and it's crazy because I didn't really think much of this wig I walked into my local hair store and, and I just picked it up I wasn't too sure about it I picked it up anyway and when I tell you everyone has been giving me compliments on this wig everyone has been wanting to know where I got this wig from so I thought you know, you know what let me film this video and just put it out there so you guys all know so let me get the box for you guys so the first wig is this Femme wig. I don't know if you guys can see very well. It is quite bright in here. So it's called Femme wig and this is the box. And on the back, this is what the wig actually looks like. So this is how the model styled it. She styled it as an offside part, but I'm gonna be wearing it as a middle part, which is how I've been wearing it continuously. This is my second um, time buying this wig. The first time, I love it, it's amazing. It's actually still going strong. I just use it as my gym hair now. <laughs> Any old wig is now used as my gym hair, okay? So yeah, this is the second time I'm buying this hair, like I do said, I do love it. Um, and yeah, this is the style relaxed blowout in the color one. So when we open it, I have worn this wig. It's not really packaged in the way that it would look like if you did purchase it, but just for the purpose of the video, I did put it back into the little box for you. So this is how it's placed in the box and it comes with all the foam and wrapping and everything. So it's pretty well packaged. So yeah, when you take it out the box, this is what it looks like. So the actual uh, middle part of the wig is lace um, and you guys can see so this is it's got this wavy texture to it i have worn it a few times now so it has lost its curls a little bit but you can still see it's got a bit of a wave to it and it's this relaxed it's more like a 4c blowout style that's how good the hair looks it looks like you guys can see like a natural blowed out 4c hair it's got still got a little bit of kink to it um as you can see and it was super long as well actually i think it was maybe about three more inches longer than this but i actually cut it like i didn't like that so it does come naturally quite long but i did cut mine and you guys can see it's still got that little blowout um, texture to it. And on the inside, it has two combs. So one comb on the right and um, another comb on the left. And then it's got another comb on the back. You guys can see right there. And then you've got the, um, I guess, the elastic band to make the wig tighter on your head. So for me, I have a small head, as I've said. So I normally have it on the last section, which is this one right here. So I'm just going to pop that in there. So you guys can see that is the last section of the wig and it is in there ready for me to go. So yeah, that there's really not much to do when you get the wig. It's ready, kind of plucked. The hairline is as good as it's going to get, I feel. You could probably pluck, pluck a little bit more away, but I just feel because you only have a small amount of lace, you don't want to pluck too much away. So I'm going to put the wig on now, actually. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Like. So now I'm gonna quickly take <laughs> my shower towel off and I'm gonna come back to you guys when the wig is on my head. Okay, so I'm just popping the wig on and I just thought I'd adjust it um, on camera so you guys can see. So first things first, I'm actually just gonna clip um, the clip at the back first. So it is a little off center because it, I'm wearing it as a middle part, not a side part, so it's not center. So it's literally on the nape. As you can see, you can see my cornrows. I do have a two uh, cornrows at the front, but I do slightly like to leave um, the wig just behind that so you can still see outline of my hairline but as you can see as soon as i've placed it on it looks pretty good already um there's not much to do and yeah this is the wig and you can see it's super long so i'm going to show you guys so yeah this is what it looks like and it's got that really nice wave to it which i love i think that's the one thing that made me fall in love with this hair and the texture guys just throwing it on without styling it and having to do nothing baby nothing here's just hello i'm here 
ha ha he arrived he arrived <laughs> Love it. So I'm gonna um, brush the hair really quickly so you guys can see. It doesn't actually shed as much as human hair, which is a blessing in itself. You guys can hear it's got a little bit. It's got a little bit of a crunch to it because it's synthetic. So we're just gonna, you know, move past that. But you guys can see how luscious the hair becomes when I brush through it. Like, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm just gonna brush this side as well. Very easy to brush through. <laughs> But yeah, this is what the hair now looks like. And I love the way it falls and it just shapes my face. Like it's so gorgeous and so bouncy. Like that's what I love about this hair. And it's so full and it's got like so much like depth to it, which I love. It's not flat. As you, again, like I said, it is mimicking a natural 4C hair blowout, which I love. So it looks like, well, natural hair. Well, for black girls anyway. You know, for us girls, 4C texture. This is our hair. <laughs> like I said, there's a clip at the front. I haven't actually adjusted the clip yet. So what I like to do is I like to just place it underneath my wig cap, because I'm wearing wig cap, just slightly at the edge, not too far in. And then on the other side as well, on the left side, you can still see I've got my natural hairline. A little bit of braid is showing through, but like I said, I don't mind it. I actually quite like that. So now the wig is pretty secure, but it really doesn't go anywhere. Like It's so nice and fluffy, and it's so light. The one thing about human hair that I actually feel like I hate now is like how heavy it is, especially in a wig form, it's super heavy. I mean, maybe I'm doing my hair wrong when it comes to human hair and wigs, but I just feel like it's so heavy and I can't just be acting crazy. But this hair, baby, I can flick it and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, what I like to do is just brush my edges towards the hair so I'm brushing it backwards and you guys can see it's creating a really natural hairline so that still looks quite natural and I'm going to do again the same on the other side just brush my hairline towards the edge of the wig to create that natural part and you guys can see that looks pretty good and yeah that is it that is literally it for the install of this wig and that's why I love it it's so easy you get it out the box, you throw it on, and baby, you are good to go. <laughs> so yeah, this is the wig. This is my first one. This is the Femme Wig Relax Blowout in the style 1B, and I'm so in love with it, and it looks like my natural hair. So yeah, the way the curls fall at the front and just frame my face is just absolutely delicious, and I just love it. I think it's so sultry and sexy, and it's just like, bam, baby. And as I said earlier on when I tried on the wig the first time, it's so light guys, like honestly, now that it's securely placed on my head, I'm just going to show you how easy it is just to clip. And, it's, and it, it's not that thick surprisingly, so you can see I've got like literally one hand wrapped around it and it's so, it still looks full. If that was human hair, do you know how thin it would be? No, 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 we're going in with about four or five bundles just to get this level of thickness and volume with human hair. But again, the downside is that it is synthetic, so you'll have to obviously keep rebuying it if obviously you want to keep it looking fresh. Um, but I love it, and for the price, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the price, I think it was 24 pounds. I'll have to double check and put it on screen for you guys. And like I said, what I love about it is that I can still just clip it up if I wanted to. I'm just wrapping that around, I'm gonna clip that down, and there you have it nice little clip at the back and it still nicely frames my face it's still got some volume to it and of course if you wanted to um, you can go in with some edge control just to bring out those baby hairs if you wanted to I mean I don't really use gel for my baby hairs I just like to brush them out it's like a lot more natural for me not to have gel on my baby hairs but I can just brush them out if I needed to oh, I just love it so I hope you guys like it as much as I do so yeah, this is the first wig. It's honestly, it's probably one of my favorite buys ever. So yeah, I'm gonna move on from this wig now. As much as I love it, I've got another one to share with you guys, my curly baby. Okay um, guys, so I've taken off the first wig. Ugh, I was so sad to do so. But I'm back with the second one, which is probably even one of my favorites. And I'm gonna show you that one now. So I have just taken it out of the packaging. Um, I actually got this the other day, surprisingly. Uh, this is my first time actually trying this wig, but it's very similar to um, the sleek Krita girl style, um, but this is very similar. Cookness collection, I can't even read that. I can't even read it, so I'm not even gonna try and pronounce. What does it say? Cookness, cookness. Cookness collection, um, unique style with superior volume. I mean, the packaging is really outdated. Honestly, I feel like it could even be the Krita girl hair, but just in a different packaging, if I'm being completely honest. Let's just throw this to the side because I just don't even want to mess with that, okay? See, it's very similar to the Krita girl. If you've watched any of my videos before, you've watched the Krita girl wig 
video that I did last year, I think it was, it's very similar. I think, again, it could just be Krita Girl in a different packaging, if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is the front of uh, the wig. It's a half wig. Um, you guys can see the combs are in place. So you've got this plastic wide comb at the uh, front or the edge of the wig. And then on the back, you've got another comb, just one this time. And then you've got the logo of the wig, as well as, again, the band where you can adjust um, the tightness of the wig and I just realized this is on the, the first one so I'm going to adjust it and make it tighter so I need it to be on the last one just so it fits securely so I've just put it on the second to last um, adjustable thing the one thing I do hear about these wigs is how thick the cap is um, at the front of it because it just it's like I can't touch my scarf it can't I mean I can't easily access it I know I shouldn't be able to because it is a wig but I just like to be able to touch my scarf but yeah so this is what the wig looks like very gorgeous bouncy curls and this is in the shade color 2 which I feel like is a really nice match for my natural hair so I'm just gonna pop the wig on off camera and I'm gonna come back to you guys when it's on okay so I'm just adjusting the wig and placing in the comb at the back and you guys can see, again, I've left two cornrows out. And I'm just going to slide that in there, the comb, into the back cornrows. So now I have the two at the front exposed. And what I'm going to do is, because it is a half wig, and if I hold it down, you guys can see um, its construction very clearly. What I like to do is, I'm just going to undo these two cornrows at the front of my hair. And then that's going to blend so much more nicely. But as you guys can see already, it is gorgeous, it is such a gorgeous length, and it's like, hey, I've arrived, baby. <laughs> and I love, love, love this wig. It's so similar to the Krita Girl. Honestly, I feel like they just have different um, branding, but it's literally probably from the same vendor. Ooh, just had the hiccups. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly um, undo these cornrows, and I'm gonna come back to you guys with how I style this wig. Okay, so I've taken out my cornrows, and boys feel good to just, you know, massage the edge of my scalp and that's done so I'm just gonna unclip the hair and you guys can already see it falls and it literally just kind of like hides the edge of the wig but the issue is this middle part right here so I'm gonna show you what I normally do I just like to pull out some hair with my rat tail comb so from the braids behind it and then I'm just gonna kind of like make it as messy as possible it doesn't look too bad like right there so that's how the wig is. Can you see it? Let me adjust. So yeah, you guys can see that a lot better now. Um, so yeah, this is how the wig looks. And again, if I didn't want the middle part, I can just cover that up and bring my hair slowly to the front of the wig and get rid of that middle part. And you can see it just falls and it just looks as natural as possible. When I bend down, you can see there's no parting. When I pull my hair back, again, there is no wig line showing so this is what this wig looks like unstyled I haven't done anything to this wig except for bring it out from the box I've had it for about two days now and you guys can see I didn't need to cut it didn't need to add any hair to it for volume look how thick it is and it's so bouncy and it is gorgeous I feel like I just love how easy it is again just take it out of the box and throw it on you can easily tie it back you can do a half up down if you half up look if you wanted to that's how it look but I'm gonna style it in the way I wore it yesterday, which I really loved. Well, that in involved tying the hair up, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this is what the hair looks like. Um, again, gorgeous color, lovely set of curls going on. But of course, you do have to have a little bit of leave out. And if you wanted to, again, again, just bring out those baby hairs. Blend it out, baby. But I do love this. Oh, love it. Look at it. <laughs> I feel like I need to come with the same energy I did with the first wig because this is just gorgeous. I'm sorry, like, look at that. Look at here. Look here. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I showed you the guys in the back. I'm pretty sure I did, but I'll just show you guys. Look what it's looking like. This is the hero. So, yeah my two favorite wigs. I'm gonna quickly style this wig. Um, I'm gonna see if I can remember the style that I did yesterday because I loved it. I, all I did was just tie it up, but I think I just left like a few pieces at the front. But yeah, actually, let me do some B-roll first with this hair before I do any of that, okay? Because I know this video, you're gonna want to see the full 360s. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I've just done some B-roll, you guys have seen that. <laughs> just show you guys the hair a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm now gonna try and style this hair really quickly. Okay, 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 let me try and do this real quick. Um, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I wanna give you guys a hairstyle. A quick hairstyle, just to give some more length to this video, because I feel like it's gonna be a fairly short one. But with the way I talk, we all know my videos end up being super long. <laughs> So I've just clipped this little side, this bit at the front and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip my head over make sure the wig is secured on properly I've got these hair ties I'm moving back a bit just so I have more space so I'm just going to tie it up here take it all, take it all, take it all and I'm bringing it right to the top of my head yes, I'm just going to okay, alright alrighty, I think we've got it I'm just going to bring that forward and I'm going to just tie it into a little bun into a half bun so got my tie and then I'm just gonna put that in there again and I'm gonna leave a little bit of hair yes there we go so that is that oh, I think I left a little bit more hair out than I did and I wanted to I'm just gonna tuck that in to the side of that bun there we go oh love it guys this hair is just everything I'm just gonna clip that bit there make sure everything still looks neat and tidy if the wind blows let's say you were out you've got to test all these things when you wear wigs when the wind blows what's it gonna look like I can wear, I can live with that <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do is just pull a little bit of hair at the back just so you have that kind of like loose curl vibes because I love that and I just love that about this hair I think it's so sweet and I just think it's so cute <laughs> Yes! Like, come on, can we just give it up for the, the synthetic hair because it is a vibe. Honestly, this is what the back looks like. But yeah, so this is the hairstyle. This is how I styled it yesterday and I was so in love with it. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be wearing this hair like this all the time. Um, just a simple updo look with a few messy pieces falling and hanging. And it, I think why I love it so much again is because I do love the 90s vibe. I'm obsessed with the 90s vibe. And this is very much a 90s look, you know, with the pieces falling and the loose hair and the... <clears throat> I could be in an R.I.B. music video, but I can't dance, so maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, this is the look. This is how I styled it and I really love this. I just wanted to show you guys how I actually styled it yesterday, which made me even love it even more. So yeah, this is the hair, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm in love with this look and I really hope you guys enjoyed both wigs that I've shared with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Ooh, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that ding to get notifications when I do upload videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye. Double kisses. <laughs> Bye. Oh, oh,